Please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get the regular updates of my channel and do not forget to like, comment and share. Hello everyone, welcome back to SaaS with ServiceNow. This is part of ITSM implementation mock training. In this video, we will configure change management form layout. In our previous sections, we talked a lot of about incident management configurations. But now here, we will talk about change management configuration and that is also we are starting with change management form layout. So what exactly we will do? So the first task would be, we will remove similar fields which we removed from incident and we will do it on change management form. So that is service field and service offering field. And second task would be that we will rename few fields. Now one field is assignment group, which we will rename to implementation group. And second one is assignee to implementer, which is basically assigned to field to implementer. So let's see how you can do this configuration in our personal developer instance. In order to do this form layout configuration for change management, you have to go to the change first. So let's go to change. So type change in application navigator. We can just go to create new. Um, I think let's let's open the existing one. So we will click on open and we will just open any existing record. Maybe it could be emergency one, any one. So if I open this record, we will definitely see those service and service offering field. So you can see here we have service and service offering. So what we will do, we will remove these fields. So I will click on form layout, right click on the header, go to configure, go to form layout. And then here I will just double click on service, double click on service offering and I'm done. Just click on save. So our first task is completed. Then you can see now you, you don't have service and service offering field anymore on change request form. Now we will move to second task where we have to rename assignment group and assign to field. So this one would be assignment group would be implementation group and assign to field will become implementer. So in that case, what I will do, I will right click on this and I will go to configure dictionary. You, but you have to remember one thing. Assign to grip is basically on task table. And if you will rename this, it will definitely impact other tables as well. So as of now, we just want to rename this on change request, not any other table. So what exactly you can do? You can use dictionary override. So in that case, we go to dictionary override. Uh, I don't see any kind of dictionary override for change request. So what I can do, I can just quickly click on new. And here we have table uh, de default value, mandatory display value. So what I can do, I can just check this checkbox, this override display value. And I have to first select the table for which table I have to do this. So I will select change request and then I will just override display value. So this will override display value, but how exactly it will override display value? Maybe I can just go override base table display value. So in that case, I can just click on submit and then I can just go to labels here. Here we have this label as assignment group. What I can do, I can just click on new and I can change the label. For what table? I can do it for change. So I can select the change here. We can just select the change. So we have this change request. Here we have this element and we have label. So for label, I can just put implementation group, implementation group, and that's it. So I can just click on submit. So this will become 
implementation group. This is for our assignment group. Okay, let's validate if it is working or not. So we go to open. We click here. Absolutely, you can see it says implementation group. But if I go to let's say incident, I just want to validate that it not it did not impact other tables. So if I go here, yes, see, we still have assignment group for incident. So let's go to change again. Now I have to basically rename this field. So I will just right click on this. I will click on configure dictionary. And what I can do, let's do one thing. Let's just change the label and don't check that box for dictionary override. So let's create a new label. And then let's put the name as, uh, let me check. Yeah, we have change request. So let's select change request here. And here I can just put impli implementer. So that's what I can put here. We have assigned to field and that's it. I just click on submit now. And let, let's take a look whether this has modified our display value or not. So if I go here and I just type change, I open any existing record and let's see. Yes, it definitely updated it implementer. Let's go to incident. If I go to incident, uh, no. So you can see incident is still fine. So that dictionary override, you definitely don't need. It's basically for, uh, I think, default base uh, display value. So I don't think you, you just, you need to override it. So if I go to change request in this particular field, uh, this is definitely override base table display value. So I think we don't need to do that basically. So you don't need to check this checkbox. It's totally fine because even you don't even you don't update this value, you will still be able to rename uh, the label. So that's something you don't exactly need to uh, override the dictionary because label is the thing where you can just change the uh, like add this record for a, that particular table where you exactly want to change it. So we already have this like implementer uh, for this assigned to and you are done. So that's how you can configure the form layout of change management form. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, share and comment and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a great day.